and we ate lots of food and did lots of nice things. Let me know how your Christmas went. Mine was lovely. I got to spend it with my family. And as you can see by the title of this video, my Christmas was rather explosive, to say the least. And not just in like, it was like exploding with Christmas. It was literally explosive. In a good way. It all started off on the day before Christmas Eve. I got back to my mum's house and my brother was there as well. We both don't live at home anymore. And we don't usually come back at the same time. We see, we see each other, but not usually at my mum's house at the same time. But me and my brother, when we get together, um, a little bit mad, it's all good, but we like to have fun. Pretty much the first thing that happened when I got in the door was my brother started showing me how to blow fire. Now, don't, don't try this at home. My brother is a, just a bit mad really, but don't try it at home. He st stood there in the kitchen going, oh Millie, I've got something to show you. I was like, great, what is it? And then all of a sudden he just got this blowtorch out and I was like, oh my goodness, what, what's gonna happen next? He put some corn flour in his mouth and just blew it and lit it and the whole kitchen was like, and, this and there was flour everywhere. It, it, was, it was fun. But it was like, oh my goodness. And he was like, do you want to go? I was like, <laughs> of course I do. I wasn't expecting that. So then, then yeah, it was my turn. I had a mouthful of corn flour, which is not a very nice substance to put in your mouth, I may add. It, yeah. As soon as I blew this corn flour, my brother set it on light with his blowtorch. It was a massive flame. I literally felt like a dragon. It was the best moment in my life. Kind of. <laughs> and um, yeah, so pretty much I walked in the door on Christmas Eve Eve and blew fire, which is a great start to Christmas. <laughs> My mum also had a go, which really shocked us both because apparently she'd been saying no, no the whole of the time my brother had been there showing her. I don't know how he figured out that that worked and also I will reiterate, please do not try this at home because it's fire, fire burns, it is dangerous. I don't know why I tried it. I think I just wanted to have some fun, you know, just give it a go. I knew it was safe. I saw it was safe before, so I thought, why not? Which I think is because I did it, then my mum decided to have a go. My mum's partner, on the other hand, did not want to have a go. He was like, no, look at the mess you made in the kitchen. There is flour everywhere, which there was, but I mean, What's a brush for? What's a hoover for? We cleaned it up. So that was the start of the explosive Christmas. Fire blowing in the kitchen. The next thing that happened was also on Christmas Eve Eve. We had, I don't know if you saw, I've seen my previous video on um, how I have an unconventional Christmas, usually, and the fact that we usually have unconventional Christmas trees. In that video, I mentioned about our Christmas tree that was made out of drain pipes, all variating sizes of drain pipes, all stuck together and stuff, um, that my mum usually put spools in. This year, however, it was in the kitchen, it wasn't decorated, my mum had a box of baubles there and said to me and my brother, and me and my brother like to take things literally as a joke. She said, oh, you guys can decorate the tree with whatever. Whatever being the word we elaborated on. So we completely ignored this box of baubles and uh, decided to start running around the house collecting really random various objects to put in this tree. We had like a tub of Vaseline, a garlic, some playing cards, bottle caps, um, I think we had some eye drops in there as well for some reason. We had, I think we had glasses wipes, just anything really, and some spoons. I will, I will put a picture here now so you can see. <laughs> with whatever 
ever. Halfway through this process, my mum walked back in and just sort of went, oh, okay, and let us carry on. She could see we were having fun. Um, and then it was all going great. It was a little bit wobbly, like a couple of times some bits and pieces were falling out and it was getting a bit wobbly, so we thought, right, we'll stop there. We won't put any more in, we'll leave our tree. We also had another tree as well in another room that was a bit more of a normal Christmas tree for a change. Um, but it had a wreath on the top instead. It, it was all a bit confusing. It was a really nice tree though. My mum decorated that one. But no, this tree, it was getting a bit wobbly. So me and my brother just decided to leave it there. We, we, we both agreed that enough was enough. We should leave it, have it up. My mum came along and go, you know what you need is some rubber gloves. And it was those rubber gloves that pushed it over the edge. She was there putting them in the, the last little holes at the bottom. And all of a sudden, this tree came completely crashing down on top of everything. There was some glasses on the table. The glass was smashed. It was it was like an actual bomb site in the kitchen. I've got a picture of halfway through the cleanup, which looks like the start of the cleanup. But no, we already cleared up half of it, which I will our um, mess that we uh, created. It was so much fun. Uh, we were just laughing the whole time really. My mum didn't care. We didn't really break any. The tree fell apart. The drone pipe tree fell apart but we saved all the bits. We can stick it back together. It was all fun. There was an egg in the tree that managed to smash but it only smashed on the chair so that was great. We only had like a little puddle of egg to clear up that was not over everything. That was what surprised us the most was that the egg wasn't everywhere but on the other hand there was broken glass everywhere from this gin glass my mum had on the table but it was clean upable and my mum's partner Kim was like oh my goodness the kids are back why? <laughs> I don't think he realises that me and my brother are just wild sometimes and um, when we haven't seen each other in a while it's a bit like mayhem so that happened and th i think that was the fastest and the best that me and my brother have ever decorated a tree together it was so much fun <laughs> i'd definitely do it again but maybe with a more stable tree but there we go we'll have to see we'll have to see there's gonna be more years we'll, we'll come up with more in inventive ideas so yeah, that was, that was our second explosive. Well, that one wasn't so much explosive. That was more sort of like falling over, looking like an explosion had happened in the kitchen. But yeah, that was all fine. Christmas Eve, not much explosions happened. My brother has a little bit of a king of explosions. He used to work in a paintballing place and he used to bring back any spare smoke grenades and flashbangs and goodness knows what. Yeah, he also, because my mum's house is in like the countryside, he was also part of a shooting club to so have like exploding little targets and stuff. So that's a backstory on my brother's explosions and where he sort of gets them from. He gets them all legally and it's all good. But yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah, my house is slightly strange for explosions. So we calmed it down, Christmas Eve was fine, came and went, it was all good. I went ice skating in my Grinch onesie. On my last video, I did a song in my Grinch onesie. Um, that was a Grinch onesie, but I decided to wear ice skating. <laughs> I got some funny looks, but there we go. It was fun and I was warm. I don't regret anything. Anyway. Christmas day comes along, the big day. Um, yeah, it was it was all going great. Everyone woke up, we done presents, had well, I started making a bit of breakfast. Um, my mum's partner's children came around, it was all nice. And uh, my brother had a bird scarer given to him by my mum's partner. And uh, they decided to hollow out a watermelon and put this bird scarer. This bird scarer is like a little cylinder tube with a little fuse on the end of it and they use them, you light them, they go up in the air 
once you've lit them and then they've got another part which the fuse goes to after that which explodes it which scares birds in big fields it's usually used on farms and big places where there's lots of crops where you don't want birds eating them how my mum's partner acquired this bird scarer i don't know but christmas day christmas morning my brother was there hollowing out a watermelon to shove this bird scarer in now we have a patio slab in the middle of our garden specifically for my brother's random explosions this watermelon was put on this this patio slab bird scarer was in there decided to light it well my brother first had to make the fuse longer so he could run away from it quick enough because i'm glad he did he lit it and first we thought he'd got, he ran back in the house we thought it had gone out and we we're like no don't go out don't go out because it's like anything to do with explosions and stuff you don't go back to it until a safe amount of time when you know it's when you know it's not going to explode and we were so glad that we waited there for a couple of seconds and it started fizzing again and oh my goodness this watermelon i think there's probably some of it in orbit around around space because it just went it just it started like this whole watermelon started like floating a little bit from the power of this jet that was at the bottom and all of a sudden it just went from the inside and the house was covered in watermelon the garage was covered in watermelon the top of the watermelon was nowhere to be seen the loudest bang i think i've ever heard it was, it was something else it was great but we did video it, but I don't actually have the video myself, so I can't link it. But if I do, I will, I will post it on this channel so you can see, because that was fun. That was some fun stuff. I was interrupted. Back to the story. So, yeah, after this watermelon that completely exploded and went into orbit and splattered the house, my brother thought it was appropriate to light his last smoke bomb that he had at the time, which turned out to be an orange one. He lit it inside the house, which is never a good idea. And all I hear is, get out of the way! <laughs> I duck and he chucks his orange smoke bomb over my head. And the garden is then filled with orange smoke. It smells of like explosions from watermelon. It, it, was, it was a bit mad. It was great but I don't think I've had a Christmas morning like it and I don't think I ever will. It was, it was fun, it was something else, but it was fun. Then he also decided to hang up a explosive target in the garden and do a bit of target practice. Just to, as he said, welcome Christmas morning in. Luckily it's a really good shot. First shot, this target just goes <laughs> on the fence so I'll give that to him he's a good shot he always has been but yeah that is the story of my explosive Christmas I mean there was other mini explosions and random stuff that go went on but nothing so significant as um, those that I have mentioned I think my mum's partner was kind of glad, well not glad when we left, that was bad to say. He's just not used to it. <laughs> I'll say, I think he kind of wanted to hide in a corner for a minute, but it was all good. It, we're, we're all just a bit of fun really. And we just had the madness arrive and then we took the madness with us when we left. So yeah, I hope you guys had a good Christmas as well. And hopefully yours wasn't as explosive as mine. <laughs> or if it was, I hope you had fun with the explosiveness. And yeah, I will see you in my next video or on any of my other social media that is linked below or on my other page. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see other videos. And I will catch you guys later. In the words of Tigger from Winnie the Pooh, TTFN, that's up for now. Bye guys. Thank you.